Hey, what's up, good people? You know what? This is not Larry Jones TV. This is Stock Crypto Box with Josh. This is uh, his page. Hey, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Listen, not only are we teaching you fundamentals, but we're teaching you technicals. This is for free. If you guys could do uh, Josh a favor and let your friends know, we need to grow this page. It's a brand new page, not even a, a, a two weeks old. And we just need to get some subscribers going, all right? I'm trying to convince him to um, spend less time running his company and do this more. And the only way that's going to happen is if we support the channel, okay? Make sure you make make sure that you hit the like button. Listen, we're going to go into some crypto that's on a complete tear right now in the right direction. And um, I'm going to let him fly this ship and do most of the talking. We both um, agree on crypto and um you take it from there yeah well you know one nice thing about being on this page is that we can go a little Any, slower I, you know what i'm sorry <laughs> they all you guys get on my case about this but i have to say this good people anything we say is not a suggestion to what to buy hold or sell a stock or crypto thank you go ahead yeah no i you know we are going to kind of take our time this this particular channel is about giving you great direction in trades but it's also about helping you learn a little bit um, so i'm going to just start off i'm going to go into trading view and we're going to look at what crypto's done this week so can we jump into yep. the charts larry we're looking at a heat map of crypto over the last week and obviously it's a sea of green so you know in the last week we've seen bitcoin jump 12 percent eth 13 percent um, some of the bigger winners right here. We've got AMP US dollar at 10%, XRP at 5, and ADA at 22. I'm going to speculate a little bit uh, of why you're seeing such a large move in ADA. It's because ADA had been more beat down than some of the other cryptos. We see Solano at a 20% upswing. Um, and, you know, from there, it's just been uh, really all up, all green. Uh, we've, I've been reorganizing my portfolio. I've been taking some profits. And today, what Larry and I are going to be talking about is what do we think out of our investments is potentially uh, the best investment for ourselves. Yes, absolutely. Um, so I'm playing with buttons here. All right, let's jump yep. out of this real quick. Actually, we can stay in here. Okay. I'm going to just go over real quick and I'm going to just take a quick glance at Bitcoin so we can take a look and see what's happening there. Okay. All right, here we are, right? So we had a pattern going for really the last couple months, and it was sort of a, 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 a pendant here. And, um, you know, I think that most people were quite bearish on it. I've been sort of picturing in Bitcoin that we were going to do a slow melt up. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, but I'll be honest with you, we had a lot of room to move in this channel before Bitcoin really you know, had to decide where it was going to go, whether it was going to break upwards or break downwards. And we had here the other day an absolute decisive move to the upside. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the question is, you know, and right now it moved up with such force and we're sitting on an area of resistance which is which was that 48k mm -hmm. and we have a couple other areas that we have to tackle we've yeah. got to tackle let me fix that for you oh there we go thank, thank you, you larry <laughs> hopefully everybody can see it now okay so uh yeah so we we have hit that mark it also has coincided with the 50 uh day moving average we've come and we've we, it's we've really come up against that res resistance at this point mm -hmm. uh, but i'm going to say that i believe that this has been such a definitive move to the upside um i think that we could come back and test this previous line of resistance and make it a line of support and hopefully go up from there right yeah. but if bitcoin has definitively changed uh direction which it has mm -hmm. uh, let me take a jump let me get, hide my drawings uh one of the things we you know on the uh, super trend which is an indicator that's available on on uh, trading view we printed a buy signal right and uh we're in that in that upward trend we don't have a sell signal yet um you know i've talked on some of the other videos that we have broken above the 50 percent on the rsi 
and you know this is this is the territory that we want to see Bitcoin operate in. So if we are in a new upward moving Bitcoin trend, what are some of the other opportunities to invest? Where are some of the other altcoins that we're looking at putting some money in, Larry? Well, you know where I'm going with it. Now you you actually yes. got to choose first. I did. So we don't know whether or not yes. your choice would have been my choice. Okay. But since you okay. chose what you chose. Mm -hmm. I chose Solana, <laughs> right? And um, remember, I was buying under $88, okay? So for those of you that remember, I said every time it dipped under $88. The reason why is simple. My, my formula with uh, cryptocurrency is simple. I wait for it to tank. You remember back mm -hmm. in, in 2020 and 2021, I would only buy it when it tanked 30% yeah. and, or more. And so it was a recipe for success because it kept doing it. Like it's nothing for crypto to tank 20%. And so I would only buy it 20 to 30% dips. But with that, um, um, I bought it at $88. Uh, dollars. And um, as you know, I bought quite a nice change. I just kept buying it, buying it, buying it because I had strong convictions in it. And so right now I'm absolutely um, happy with it because in the last week, like you said, it's up 22% in the last week. Salana. Okay. And uh, so I, I, I'll deal with that. You know, right. In the day it's up 2%, but you know, in the week, 22%. Uh, but if you really look at, could we pull up a, um, will that mess up your chart if we pull nope. up a six month chart? Of Solana, absolutely. Here yep. we go. And where was the high six months ago? So if we're looking at Solana six months ago, um, well, the high of Solana in the last six months was 258. I don't know about you, but I take that any day. Let's look at it. I take that any day. If it if it retraced that, if it got back up there, which um, a lot of investors or a lot of people that are in crypto think that Bitcoin could go back uh, and revisit its highs, and um, which I do too. Um, even in this market, Bitcoin could revisit it, visit it, its highs could, and I believe if that happens that Solana, which is only getting stronger. Um, yes, Cardano is my next one. And let's, let's, let's just tell it like it is. Cardano is a better platform than Solana. It really is I, in my heart of hearts. The problem is not the platform. The problem is messaging. Okay. Charles does a poor job of messaging. He communicates all day long because he can talk, but he has a poor job of messaging. Solana does a better job of messaging. So I'm going to leave it right there. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at Solana technically. Mm -hmm. I, I Solana is my third or fourth largest position. Mm -hmm. So like you, mm -hmm. I think that it was a no brainer to buy at $88. Right. And, um, and oh, you, you're saying I don't have a brain. No, <laughs> y'all heard that. He's swinging. <laughs> no, no. And you know, and I, I'm going to load up there if it, yeah. and I'm not going to sell where it's at. Right. And if it comes back, I'm, I'm going to buy selling. some more. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I'm so not selling. I'm going to, let's go ahead and look right. into the charts on Solana. Right. So what are we looking at here? Well, you know, I, you know, the super trend is an indicator on trading view, right? And it doesn't work in every time frame, and it doesn't work for every every mm -hmm. stock. But, Explain to them what you already did. Didn't you? Well, a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Let's keep you it know, rolling. And we're. I'm just going to say, you know, but right now, from my view, the super trend has actually done been a great indicator for Solana, and uh, and on the daily is the area that I'm that I feel it's working. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it if you if you sold when the super trend gave you a sell signal here. At 260, I mean, or actually, it it, it, pr it printed that signal at 221, right? Mm -hmm. Very near to the top, right? Right. And here we have a, a, a signal that's printed in a buy, which is right in line with this bottom, right? Okay. So, you know, if... Go there again. If we, we have a buy signal, 
Oh, for I, the see Super it. I see it now. Okay. I can see it better on that screen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, it consolidated beautifully. You know, I've talked about this before, mm -hmm. this type of sideways movement that we're always looking for. Mm -hmm. It's consolidated. We're looking for a breakout and a, clo and a close above. We'll just, I'm just going to for, I'm going to call it 122. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a breakout and a close above that. And my target, and I'm telling you, I'm not going to sell a penny of my Solana unless I get over 150, which mm -hmm. now that's the Solana that I'm not holding long. Right. I have some in one account that I'm holding long, yep. but my swing Solana. Come on, right? man, you know how I like I'm, to do I'm it. looking to make really roughly a 35% profit on it, or right. basically on, on my averaged in price around $90. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to get up to 150. Right. That's a massive that's win. That's a massive right? win. So for those of you that don't know, there's two links uh, that are supplied below. One is for Coinbase and one is for Weeble. You could hold your Solana, your SHIB, your ADA, all in Coinbase. So click the link below if you don't have anything to trade uh, crypto with. But what I do, what we do is we swing trade it, the same crypto we swing trade it with Weeble. There's links for both below. Right. Yeah, and I'm just going to point out. So I wrote 170 on my chart, okay? Yep. And, um, you know, and I mentioned 150. I am going to begin to look at uh, slowly taking profits from the 150 to the 170 area. And, mm -hmm. you know, that might be, that someone could say it's premature, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To me, I'm making a good chunk of change yes. that for my portfolio for the year of 2022, right. I'm going to feel great about it. Yes. Okay? One of the things I've been on Josh is, is I've been pushing him to, he, he does more trading than investing. So he's now he's doing a little more investing, which I'm happy. I will hundred percent give credit to Larry <laughs> for uh, really yeah. focusing me on, on investing more. Yeah. I have been more of a trader. Right. And, uh, and I think, think that's of, going well. Think about what he just said. Sorry for that. Think about what he just said. If you could buy it, so it all depends on your buy price. So if you buy something, let's say you bought um, um, Solana at 79 cent, right? Then yeah, $79. I'm sorry, do uh, dollars. I keep saying cent. We'd be, you know, Larry. Yeah, if I be, bought uh, it at 79 you know, cent. in the Caribbean right now. Yeah, I'd be <laughs> <laughs> looking good there, exactly. Billy Way. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Um, so what I would suggest is me personally, you may do it the other way. You can have greater gains. But what I do when I buy it very low, those are the ones that I hold long term because it doesn't matter how volatile it is. If I buy it here, it doesn't matter how volatile the stock is up here. Long as it don't come down here where I bought it. That's where I hold long. OK, that's what I hold in my coin base. Right. But the stuff that I buy, let's say you buy, you just bought some Solana at 105, then that's where you look at the swing points and you get in, you get out. So you can make money while investing. You can swing trade while investing. As a matter of fact, the first big amount of cash that I had to invest was because I kept swing trading, right? cashing out and putting 25% in my long-term investing. And I did that for a period of years until I built up a sizable amount. Okay, well, that's great. So, you know, so let me finish up my Solana and then mm -hmm. I'm gonna give everybody my pick. All right, okay? go ahead. I, I want to share, I wanna teach people these charts. I know that when I first started with these charts, there it was uh, intimidating. Mm -hmm. um, I throw it back on the camera real quick. Okay. Right. I remember when I first spent uh, trying to time trying to learn the RSI. Right. Yeah. And I began to understand what what it meant when it got oversold and, you know, oversold and what it meant when it got overbought. And and uh, I began to try to align that up with the uh, price action. Right. And then after that, uh, someone said, yeah, but that doesn't really work for most uh, buy in buy areas you've got to begin to look at bullish and bullish bearish and divergence bearish. in yeah. the chart. And I was like, oh, forget it. This, <laughs> right. this is too much, right? But I can tell you that this is my experience and that's why I believe that you can learn this as well. It's about exposure. And every single time you watch these videos with Larry and I, we're gonna re refer and reference until even before you know it, you're gonna be seeing these things in the chart. It'll become like second language. I, I wanna encourage you because I, I experience the same thing. Now I don't think about looking for these things, mm -hmm. I just pop open the chart and I see them.
I have an idea. So uh, Josh and I had a conversation with Charting, and it was a Q and A, um, and uh, we was just experimenting with it, and I edited it down, and I was just gonna just kind of trash it and redo it. It's a long conversation, but in the conversation, we I'm asking questions as if I were you guys. Um, you know, after tomorrow, uh, I'm going to just post them on the page, right? Okay. And um, and I because I still think that you guys will get a lot out of it, knowing um, how to chart, okay? And so I'm just going to post these on this page, all right? I okay. think that's a good idea. Okay. What do you think about the the video? I think that there's a lot of good material in there, and I think we covered a lot of um, beginning ideas. Okay. And so I think if people would spend the time watching it, they'll definitely walk away with something. All right. That's what I'm going to do, good people. Okay, Larry. So we don't make this video too long. Yep. I'm going to give my pick. So since you got to pick first, you chose Solana, then I'm going to uh, break the rules a little bit, and I'm going to pick two right. as, as my altcoin picks for this potential alt key, altcoin season that we might be moving into. Okay. And that's going to be ADA and DOT. Okay. So I'm going to just, uh, both of these are great platforms. I have them both. And uh, yeah, and really they're in my top five uh, coins. And I'm going to dive into the technicals. Let's start yep. with ADA, okay? Okay, so really simply, ADA was just massively beat down. Um, I've traded it really uh, from about 22 cents um, you know I took another position at 44 cents and I've been on this journey that we've seen it come up here and make these massive moves and we had a long period of consolidation between two dollars and two dollars and 44 cents mm -hmm. and to be honest with you I think a lot of people saw that as a floor to move upwards and of course it then printed a sell signal and we just we just kept falling and i think that everybody that owned cardano uh was surprised when it basically made you know continuous everybody lower lows was surprised. right everybody I, was it like, took it cut me off at the knees i didn't know that was yeah. not, me and you were talking about it we didn't Absolutely. know it was coming yeah and so you know people the joke about cardano is that it's like a stable coin you know yeah. just mostly around a dollar but you know so we've had a definitive breakout here right we've had this really long period on the rsi where the bears were just beating it up and we've had this is what i look for this is a signal um uh, family this is that breakthrough over the 50 percent and all the way up to the top of this range and that's what we're looking for right so we're hoping that moving forward we're gonna see the the bulls control cardano right we're gonna see it come back and bounce this will be another area where i'm gonna buy in heavy so coming back isn't a problem for me and call price. that out for people that can't see that well so what we're looking at here is the rsi on the bottom half of the screen mm -hmm. and this area here the middle point of the RSI is the 50% mark. Mm -hmm. The top part of this uh, purple box is the 70%. And the bottom part of the box is 30%. Thank you. And just, we're going to give a real quick lesson. So, you know, this is the percentage of buyers on the top. Mathematically over sellers. Okay. So if this goes down this way, it means that the sellers are in greater number than the buyers, okay? So if it goes all the way down here, it means that, that over 70% of everybody who was trading ADA that day was selling, selling. it. And there was only 30% buying it. Mm -hmm. And if it goes... You can look at them. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, they're not even seeing me. They're on the charts. I'm just looking and <laughs> no, talking. No, I actually have Oh, you okay, okay, picture, good. Picture. <laughs> you know, we're getting it together. Tricks. We're getting it together, people. right? <laughs> Thanks, Larry. No. Okay, so uh, good. So, yeah. So, what? when if it comes from this bottom point all the way back up here to the top of the RSI, it means that we now have 70% uh, buyers and only 30% sellers, right? Okay, so we printed. I just want to just point out some things on, on Cardano, right? We came to this ridiculously low price of 75 cents. We printed a buy signal on the super trend. Uh, those buy signals have typically been great. They represent a certain degree of increased volume mm -hmm. and price action and momentum is what produces that buy signal, right? 
And uh, at that point, those have typically signaled a great entry point. The last time we got a buy signal, we got it at $1.20 and we went all the way up to $3.10. Okay. Sweet. So we're looking, I'm, I'm really at this point, I'm, I'm looking, I'll give you my price points. At 122, it wouldn't shock me if we pulled back to a mm -hmm. dollar. Exactly. So just have that in mind if you're taking your position now. Thanks for bringing that up. Be prepared to uh, hold some of your cash back and be prepared to buy more at a dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to give you, if this bull run continues and if Bitcoin stabilizes around 48 and makes its way back up to 50, 50. all right, and even higher than mm -hmm. 50, I'm going to give you the price predictions and the places where I'll consider selling my ADA. I have long-term ADA and I have short-term short -term. ADA, right? It's going to be a dollar sixty and a dollar eighty on the high end, mm -hmm. right? I'm probably going to take a fifty percent of my my swing ADA and I'm going to sell, sell it at a dollar sixty. Right, right. So this is the way, good people, that you make money with both investing and swinging and, and knowing when and where, right? So we're just trying to give you as many tools as we can. So we don't want to just, uh, I don't want to just, I know I built this community, but I don't want to just give you fish every day. I want to teach you how to fish. And uh, this is some really good information to help the people. Right. Yeah, I, I think so, man. We are giving you guys entry prices. We're giving you sell prices. We're teaching you the technicals. I'm answering your questions in the comments section. I want to say just because I, I feel it towards you. You guys are the most affirming community you on YouTube. Rock. I mean, I get so much affirmation. I love it. I love responding back yep. to you. I'm answering questions. I don't know how if I'll always be able to answer every question. But right now, I've been answering every question. So feel free to throw questions in the comments section. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I would tell you guys in closing that he he does have another company that 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 is doing well. I I I actually had a a company also, and I'm trying. It's a difficult move to move over to this, and you just can't do it right away. You have to do them both, and it just takes a lot of hours. So, if you guys help this page be successful by always liking and and um, subscribing and liking early, we'll continue to bring it. But we need you guys to share it with your family. Just everybody that's listening, go to two to three other family members, say, hey, give me your phone, and just subscribe to his page. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, just on the on the aspect of the page, yeah. I just want to tell you guys that it's it's been growing beyond my expectation. It's been growing like wildfire. Yes. Um, I mean, even without us promoting it, it just every time I go back and look at the screen, You're right. I'm amazed at how many people are jumping on board and yes. liking and communicating. So thank you for all of that. Thank you, guys. Before we get done, I'm going to throw out just dot a quick t one minute technical on dot. So let's jump back into the charts yes. here. OK, so dot, I'm just going to say the same thing. Uh, dot is a great um, um, uh, crypto. We have printed a buy signal on it we've had this great area of consolidation it's absolutely minded this long-term historical trend line it's it's really performed at this moment in time in every which way we'd want it to it's move it's broken above this area in the rsi uh, so i'm going to tell you it's a solid buy and i'm at the mean at the moment do not intend to sell any, you know, I, my chart right now is giving me a little bit of trouble. Let me look at this. Yeah, it's actually uh, not giving me dollar amounts. So we'll come back to this, but, there you go. and I'll give you some, uh, I think we're gonna have a little time for this to run, to run and yeah. even to pull back. But in the next couple, you know, we talk about these again, I will give you some exit, uh, exit pricing for that as well. There you go. There you go, good people. We're going to cut it off right there because we can go and go and go and go and go. Uh, but there's a lot to talk about and things change from period to period. OK. And so remember, anything we say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold or sell stock or crypto. We're going to keep bringing these charts to you. Make sure you check out all the links below and hey, help the page by sharing this page with at least three to four. See how I see how I did that first. <laughs> it was two to three. Now it's three to four. All right. And so we're going to cut it off right there. Live, love, laugh. We got to get you a sign off, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. There's been some hysterical comments. You know what I like what you said the suggestions other day. on it, Larry, in oh, the, in go the ahead. comment section. Call some. Well, you know, I mean, I, I can barely remember them, but one of them was stock crypto bot trot with Josh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Everything That's under the sun. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I would tell you that my sign off is probably going to look at like something like to encourage, to educate, and, and to inspire because that is my heart. Okay. And, you know, Say to, that build, again. to encourage, to educate, and to inspire so and I'll... to build generational wealth. Okay. So this is Josh signing off. And my, no, here we go. Let's see. This is Josh signing off where I am here to encourage, to educate, educate, and, and to inspire. inspire through building generational wealth. Peace. We'll see you later.